welcome to Let's Get Two. Now here's your host, James Christopher. Hi everyone, and welcome to the second edition of Let's Get Two Unboxed. That's right, two episodes this week. I figure with the holidays coming up, and there's a lot of brand changing going on in minor league baseball, so therefore the app to impulse buy things is way, way stronger. I thought it was a good opportunity. And again, if you're doing some Christmas shopping, Hanukkah shopping, and looking for some unique gifts, Minor League Baseball has a lot of really cool logos and brand designs. Find some of them on Twitter, check them out. Some of them will have Black Friday sales. Some of them will have Cyber Monday sales. So just like the Oscars, I should tell you who I'm wearing. Um, first, we've got the t-shirt from the Akron Rubber Ducks, one of my favorite brands in baseball. I love the, you know, when you think of a rubber duck, I think of Sesame Street, I think of my little kid. Um, but obviously this dude's, well, badass. For the hat, we're wearing the Myrtle Beach Makos, an alternative identity for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans from a few years ago. I love everything about alternative identities. I think it's really fun to either bring a team that maybe you almost were called whenever you, you know, they had the fan voting or something from your past and kind of bringing it back for fans that for currently enjoy. And I'm a big shark guy. Jaws is my favorite movie. So anytime you can combine a shark and baseball, I'm in. And for example, uh, I have here my favorite toy in my office, the really cheery, cute Funko Pop depicting Quint meeting, meeting Bruce for the final time in the movie Jaws, the greatest film ever made. But I digress. I want to talk a little bit about the Wichita Wind Surge. And so they used to play as a New Orleans Baby Cakes, and then they the team relocated to Wichita, bringing minor league baseball back to Kansas. And first of all, it's always sad to see a team leave. I love the identity of the baby cakes. I love it again when minor league teams borrow something from their culture, i.e. Mardi Gras, and build the team identity around that. And so hopefully New Orleans will get a new team eventually at some point. But the wind surge, we're very excited to see them. Uh, and first, before we unbox the box, I gotta give shout outs for the box. The Emerald Osado Poodles did something very similar where they had a box that looked like a live animal crate. And so I love that the box looks like an airplane fuselage. You can see the rivets. It's got the kind of old US Air Force logo that you would have seen in like World War II fighters and stuff. And then on top, grayed out, you've got the main logo. So let's take a look at the hat. I love that they use four complementary colors, the two shades of blue with the bold red W outlined in gold. I like the idea that they've taken this thing that's very much a part of Kansas life, the wind, and kind of used something associated with the wind that shows power and strength and grace in the Pegasus. So all in all, a really fun design that I think the people of Wichita are going to come to love. And thanks again for watching this edition of Let's Get Two Unboxed. We really appreciate everybody for watching the videos, following the show, listening to the podcast. It's really been a blast of a baseball season, and we can't wait till 2020. We hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Remember, when you're doing your holiday shopping, check out some of your local minor league teams like the Wichita Wind Surge. It's like buying from a small business. It stays in the community. We also encourage you to check out the hashtag Save Hometown Baseball and see what you can do to help slow down Major League Baseball's contraction in the minor leagues. But again, have a great Thanksgiving. We hope your football teams win. And until next time, let's get to it.